Hey, what is going on everybody and welcome to Fantasia for today. We're going to be jumping into another session of Epic 7 now today. Got some, well, auto chess for you guys. This is Epic 7's event that was here last year for, you know, Minigala Lilius. And when she was introduced to the game, they're rerunning it currently. And it's a ton of fun. Uh, it's actually a really great mode. I know a lot of people say they want it to be permanently in the game, but I feel like they'll kind of lose its charm, right? It kind of uh, be not as fun if you have access to it every single day. So once it's a limited time event, they bring it back occasionally. I think it is really nice. Now, um, I am gonna, this is my first run through this time around. I did play when it came out last year, obviously. And, oh, we got a dupe. Not really what I wanted there. All right, let's go. Uh, Lucy, all right, we'll just slap Lucy into the team here. So typically what you do in this, uh, you have a lot of achievements that you need to get, right? And the achievements that you want to get, you want, um, you want to get certain class synergies, right? You want certain number of classes on your side, like there'll be some things like, hey, beat, beat this with, uh, you know, all the people from Rengar on your team, or at least like four people from Rengar on your team. And uh, that kind of stuff is all right, it's pretty good. So you can also expand your rosters as well. So you can spend some of your currency to expand your roster. You can spend currency to purchase more units. The units are random, uh, but if you don't like the unit you have, you can send them back. You can like sell them for extra, um, you know, currency here. This is called New World's Power, but we'll just call them the coins. You can sell them off for 10 coins. Uh, and, but, like, if you're good enough to, to proceed, typically you're pretty uh, solid, pretty okay. There is a time limit, and you do have three hearts, three attempts. You can also put this on two times speed, which we'll do. And as you can see, if you wait, if you're patient, and you can stock up on these coins, you can actually, one, expand your slot, and then two, you can get four stars, right? Four stars and five stars as well. So there's a lot of units in here that are very strong, and we're just going to play through it. You don't actually really want to have the strongest units in your uh, first few playthroughs because the final round is going to be against whatever your previous winning team was. So if you won with an absolutely disgusting busted team, uh, congratulations, you screwed yourself over. Um, <laughs> There's not a real, there are some strategies to the game, uh, but it is pretty, uh, it's pretty player friendly, right? It's not a terrible thing, it's designed to uh, give you a good time. Now, if you have these units, you can actually take a look at their, um, you can look at their kits, right? So they do have, you know, a basic attack that they have, but they also typically tend to have some sort of a, a boost to your team, uh, a little buff of some sorts. So uh, Furious, for example, grants increased critical hit chance to the caster and all nearby allies for 10 seconds, which is huge. Um, and Camilla over here, she has the ability to grant increased attack to herself and nearby ally for 10 seconds, also really big. Uh, the crit rate obviously is really good because you can see these characters don't have a ton of crit. Uh, Hostile has dealed fixed damage, and for example, Clarissa here has rage. So if an enemy is defeated, she activates uh, a, like a, an extra attack of sorts, right? And attacks everybody instead of just a single target. So there are some units, like even you see um, Clarissa here, she's okay for like some AoE damage potential, right? You can see that uh, the team is working pretty well, but Furious, Furious is a really good one because that, that crit uh, chance buff is huge. So we could save up to try to get a three star. Three stars could be really good to help you carry through the early stages of the game. We'll just purchase a slot so we can put Lucy in here. Lucy does have some healing potential as well. And also you see this bonus little knight that I have down there? It's because when you have a certain number of synergies, uh, then you actually do get um, some bonuses. This actually is from, I think, Furious. I think Furious summons that um, that mob here. So if you click on the synergies on the left side, you actually get to see the damage boosts and stuff that you get. So because I have Cl uh, Clarissa and Camilla here, we actually get a 100% damage boost to our units. If you have uh, Soul Weaver on your team, it increases your recovery. Right here, the City Lord one, you get to summon a soldier, right? If I get Co um, Kawazu and if I get uh, Minaga Lilius herself, I get to summon up to three soldiers, which is great. So, for right now, I think I'm going to hold off. We're 10 coins away from getting a uh, potential 5-star summon. I could have sold off someone like Lucy that I don't need to get uh, 10 coins, but might as well just keep pushing forward right now with what I have, because things are looking pretty good for us right now. See Clarissa's little AoE attack there. She didn't really hit anybody, but 
your your positioning of the units in the beginning might matter as well for how your units move. Okay, there we go. We can get our first five star here. We're gonna get Yuna, and Yuna actually has a buff drone, increases attack and grants increased speed to herself for 10 seconds. Not too bad. So we're gonna go ahead and summon the unit here. We'll kind of um do wanna replace anybody? Maybe not. Let's go ahead and expand a slot. So the ranged units you typically want to put in the back lines, that will help out quite a bit. And you can also spread out your melee units like this. Furious is going to be in the middle, so you can buff everyone that's currently around him. Your ranged units don't tend to push up, as you can see. So having Furious in the middle here is good positioning. Yuna also given that speed buff, um, which is nice. Look at that, the crit onto the, um, onto the Yuna is going to be pretty big. Look at that, good attack buff on everyone on the, on the team. And there you go. So, this is running pretty smoothly. I think I'll just keep going without changing my roster. Again, having the synergies is going to be very useful. Though, you gain the reputation points from clearing at the end, so you want to have those units giving you synergies in the last fight. That's where it really matters. Um, for right now, we can just keep on going, pushing forward. And, again, ooh, wow, we can get another uh, actual good summon here. There's a lot of good four stars. Oh, Silk. Now, if you guys have played last, you know Silk is probably one of the best units to have here. Because look at this. When she is granted increased speed, she activates automatic fire instead of single shot. And this thing penetrates the target's defense by 50%. Silk is absolutely insane as a damage dealer. We're going to go ahead and replace... Um, her right there so we don't need Lucy anymore and I'm gonna jump in I think we get the speed buff yeah there we go we got a speed buff right there so look at that very very nice if you look at her synergies you have three rangers you get increased speed for 20 seconds that's huge so silk look how fast that was right our frontline units are not doing too well not doing too hot but let's summon some more four stars that's good we'll use crozette furious so if you summon a duplicate by the way you get imprints imprints will increase as you can see the attack and hp here in this case sometimes they give bonuses to other stats so we're definitely going to put uh, Crozette in here. I'm going to go ahead and replace the... Let's replace Camilla for right now. How about that? So we have two knights. Two knights will increase your HP and defense, right, of uh, all your other knights. So that's pretty good. Let's get a... Ooh, we got a Dom. Okay, Dominial is fine. We don't have enough to expand roster right now. Dominial is not terrible either. We're going to see what uh, she gives. But if we swap over the synergies, you can see getting another mage, I don't think would really impact us right now. Um, let's see what Dominial's uh, alliance is with. Oh, she is the plant symbol. So down here, if I get another one, I'd be able to get skill null for four times. So this is the blessing of the spirit lord. So getting Dominial with Silk on the same team is not terrible. I can replace Hassel here, actually. And if I check Dominial's passive, or, sorry, the other skill. She grants a barrier and reflect to the caster and all nearby allies for 10 seconds. That's actually pretty nice. So we might want to switch her into a position where she can buff pretty easily. Mm, you know what? Never mind. Let's just keep her with Crozet. I think that'll be fine. Look at that. Skill null for four turns. Pretty good, right? So Dominial is going to be able to survive quite well. And there you go. Finishing off this round, too. Easy peasy. Good stuff. And there's what? There's several rounds. There's 25 rounds. We're in round 13. By the way, if you guys want to see more of this type of content, let me know, because it's a pretty chill way to spend the time, and also it's uh, hopefully going to be informative for you about how to approach these uh, this event. This event did get me the first time around. I did spend quite a few days trying to work out the kinks of my teams, especially because I cleared it with too strong of a team the first time around. Utilizing the uh, four stars especially is going to be very good value for your coins. Getting the, the gold is obviously nice, but um, you, again, you don't want to have too strong of a team going into the last fight, because then you're going to be at kind of a disadvantage. Let's do another summon here. We have seven slots. Dingo! So Dingo rushes in the direction of the enemy, attacks and uh, the target and all nearby enemies, inflicting burn for five seconds. That might not be bad. Let's go ahead and put Furious back here. All your range units in the back will be able to reach, right? So look at this. Dingo actually gets another skill null, because with our synergies here, he's a spirit lord unit. So we have skill nullifier for five times, keeping Dingo quite healthy. Oh, did you see that? Dingo jumping for and that huge splash of uh, fire there. Beautiful stuff. We're going to keep expanding. Eventually, you're going to expand your roster to be pretty large. Uh, we'll go with what I would like for a synergy. Hustle wouldn't give us anything. Lucy, 
Lucy would give us um, 20 more world power per hero. Yeah, you know what? Let's do it. Let's do that. Let's go ahead and put her in here. And there we go. Okay, so for this one, our soldier's at the bottom here, which is kind of nice, because it's making sure that Lucy isn't taking damage. The soldier is really useful for, um, for those purposes. The issue is they get kind of come and they spawn from your character. So keeping Furious in the back line means the soldier has to walk forward a bit. And your characters, because they auto walk forward to whatever blank spot there is, the most efficient pathing to the enemies, sometimes they can get in each other's way. So again, keeping your melee units in the front is going to help you quite a bit. Uh, let's go for another 4 star summon. Clarissa Imprint. That's a lot of HP we just gave her. Cirilla. So she would increase decreased attack on the opponent, and she gets increased attack for herself, and she gets to recover health, so it's not terrible. Let's go ahead and replace Lucy with her. I think that would be quite nice. Stacking Rengar early, by the way, is really good for getting coins early on. Rengar is this one, so the key symbol. Getting those units early and stacking them onto your team uh, allows you to kind of exponentially increase your your uh, currency gain early on, which allows you to afford better units quicker. Uh, so if I really wanted to min-max that, I could go for that. You can also just spam three stars too, by the way. Kiki Rot right here is pretty decent. Lorena, not bad. Cirilla again. Okay, so if I really want to do this, we can put Lucy and Kiki Rot into this team. So for example, if I replace Dominion and I put uh, Kiki Rot as a potential tank, let's replace the Clarissa. See if we can expand. Nope, we can't expand further. Eight units so far. Okay, let's go for it. So this would potentially, I'm just showing you guys this so we can see how much uh, coins we get. Kiki Ra is getting burst down pretty quickly. Three stars are a little bit weaker than the four star counterparts, of course. But the team is, I mean, if you have Sylph, your team is going to be destroying everything. Look at Yuna go. Yuna's using her ult. So the five stars here that you get, the gold summons, they actually do have extra animations. Look at that. Good damage. Okay. And we do get so much more currency. Look at that, 500 something, right? We're doing good, we're doing good. So I'm gonna go ahead and just do another big summon. Oh, Politus, very nice. So when an enemy's defeated, she actually activates uh, this extra AoE attack, right? And uh, inflicts unable to be buffed for five seconds. That's not bad. She is um, with a different alliance though. So the mage, mage buffs here, we actually get cooldown, one turn cooldown reduction. Not bad if we have two mages. We can go ahead and replace somebody here. So we need Cirilla. I can replace Kiki Rod, I guess. Oh, oops, I replaced Crozet instead. Let's go ahead and do that. I'm gonna put the Dingo in the front, because again, he has his skill nulls. I think we should be fine. We have a lot of ranged units. It's not the greatest. See how Lucy moved forward there, but thankfully our knight went and protected her, so Lorena's fighting the knight. But Cirilla down there, ooh, taking a brunt of those hits. That's not good. Yeah, they're bursting. Oh, they're bursting through my ranged units right now. This is not great. Can Silk actually hold on? She needs a speed buff. Oh, she might. She might be able to do it. This is not good. This is not good. Oh, so we got a fail, and this is what happens, right? If you get a fail, and sometimes it does happen, uh, you, you lose a heart. So it, it does suck, but that means that we kind of just need to bolster our defenses. Maybe no Politus for now. And again, just because you got a 5-star doesn't mean you have to use them. They're not always going to be the most efficient unit to have. I'm going to place Lucy with Dominio, because that was working out quite well for us. Cirilla's a little too far forward. We can put Dingo down here. Put Furious here so we can buff everyone more efficiently. And yeah, let's jump into it. There we go. Dominion with that skill knoll is going to be very nice for jumping up there to soak up the hits from that Lorena. So you got to pay attention to where your weaknesses are right now. See Clarissa moving up here. Thankfully, Crozette coming to help out the Dingo. So even while it's auto chess, see how a slight tweak to a couple of units can make a huge difference. I should be summoning four stars, nice. So there is a chance to get five star units from four star summons here, which is good. So we're gonna get a unit imprint, very good. Angelica, also a very nice healer. So she actually recovers health of all nearby allies and grants immunity for 10 seconds. So we're gonna slap Angelica in here. She would be pretty decent. She actually would uh, give us another Azira. Um, token actually no wait hang on one two we need four units to get that next buff which i guess we could put lorena in here lorena's not bad we're gonna replace the dingo let's go with angelica let's replace the uh dominio how about that we'll put angelica here 
and we'll put Lorena down here. So let's go for this. Push up, right? Angelica's up in the front line, so she's gonna be healing a lot of the people up here when she gets her ult. So notice that blue bar, that blue meter's full, she's gonna do a heal, gets everyone some HP. Very good. I might want to put Angelica in the middle next time, so she can heal more people. But yeah, going for the 4-star summons. Oh, beautiful. She gets tankier. You'd love to see it. Silk getting imprints is huge. Clarissa as well, not bad. I've been using her, so it's not bad to have. All right, let's go ahead and put the Angelica in the middle. So maybe where Crozette is, put Crozette up here. Lorena can go right. Oh, Clarissa goes here, Lorena goes here. Good, okay. So jumping into this, look at that. All the melee units are up front, and Angelica is gonna be able to heal once she gets her full bar. So there you go, she's gonna heal. Crozette got a massive chunk of HP. Crozette's gonna live long enough to actually use his own uh, ultimate there. And now we're on round 21. Again, notice how we didn't try to invest in a whole ton of five-star units. We're trying our best to use what we can to try to scrape by. Okay, so we're gonna go, but you also don't want to have too weak of a team because then you're gonna get overwhelmed, you're gonna lose a bunch of hearts. So we're gonna keep doing four-star summons, nice silk there, good Clarissa, another Crozette, not bad. Jump back into this. And we're gonna keep going until we fail again and we need to keep something. So our damage so far is really good. Again, Silk with the rapid fire machine gun in the back because of our speed buff. That is amazing. It's what's carrying this team. But we're gonna try to probably not utilize her as much nearing the end once we get to round 25. Because that's gonna be the round that really matters for us. Uh, let's go ahead and what other bonuses would we like? Increase attack, defense, and bearer of all allies. Very good, so we have four of these units. We can still go for Alexa, we can get Vildred, we can get Alexa and Jenna. So you can see the units that you are you might be missing for these. I think Rengar doesn't really give too great of a bonus. We could honestly replace Cirilla at this point, and we could potentially try to get one of these units, or another Soul Weaver. We could help with the healing. Let's see, Skill Null would be nice. Let's go ahead and replace a healer with, or sorry, replace one of the Rengar units with uh, Dingo. So, Yuna, Yuna's been doing okay, hasn't she? Yeah, Yuna's been doing okay. Who's the other Rengar unit we can replace? Let's see, we can go for... Uh, what was it? Cirilla, yeah, let's replace Cirilla. Because she hasn't been doing a whole ton. Dingo's actually pretty decent. Let's go ahead and put Dingo here. And Lorena down there. Alright, so Dingo with the skill nulls. He's going to be protecting himself, which is nice. Angelica moving forward. She is going to get a nice heal going. Good heal. Lorena's going to die at the bottom there, but look at that. Dingo's still alive. Still has a skill null on him. That was a pretty efficient team. Okay, so we can't expand further. Eight units, I believe, is the um, most you can have. So at this point, we're just going to go and slap some more. Oh, nice. Shuri is a great Rengar unit to have because he actually goes ahead and always crits, right, whenever he attacks. Um, he actually targets all enemies here with this too, which is nice. And same with his S1, he'll always crit, so he doesn't need these crit buffs. Um, he's a Rengar unit, he will give us more currency. I don't know if we really need him here. I'll, I'll put him in and I'll put him in the back line. Replace the Lorena for now. Okay. Oh, and here's the other thing. You see the little dragon egg that we have there? That's a pretty nice thing to have too. So the dragon egg actually comes out from, I believe it is... Where is it? There's a little... One of these gives us the buff for the dragon egg for... nope. One of these. One of these gives us dragon egg. One of these units does. Anyway, uh, let's keep on going. What do we got? It's round 24. Alright, so after this one, gotta be very careful. This is a very ranger heavy team. If I take the silk out, could I maybe make it work with something like Politis? Let's see. Sure, he goes there. We're gonna kind of clump all of our ranges together, so hopefully you can get the buff from Furious. And he gets a crit rate buff. Right. Oh, that's not bad. We're not doing too bad. Notice how much the DPS slows down when we don't have Silk, right? Dingo is doing good work, but he decides to go down there. Oh yeah, no, we definitely got this. Not bad for a first run through, right? Again, getting rid of the Silk is gonna be pretty decent for us here. Get so many more points. Let's go ahead and slap on some more. Oh, Kawazu's gonna be very nice. I kind of honestly want to replace um, the Politis with the Kawazu potentially. So let's go ahead and do that. 
That way we can get two soldiers that get summoned. Corin. Corin actually goes ahead and uh, decreases defense and increases increased speed for herself for five seconds. Not terrible, but again, Rengar, better for an earlier game setup. Sometimes you need them for achievements anyway, but let's just, uh, let's go in with this team. Round 25. Let's go. Look at those two soldiers spawning in the back. Kawazu, see, here's the thing. I messed up Kawazu's placement. He's standing really far in the back line there, and he's not contributing to the fight, which means my units are probably going to die much sooner. Look at that. He's running all the way down here, all the way around. Now finally going to be able to engage. Crozette goes down. Angelica's still alive. Look, we're going up against the Minika Lilia. She's going to nuke my Kawazu. Oh, she one-shots him, but she is going to be one of the only ones alive here. Come on now, don't you guys die, don't you guys die. We gotta kill this Minica Lilius. She's healing from her attack too. Oh, there you go. Good job. So with that, look at this team. It's not the greatest team, right? And it's not meant to be. You don't need a really amazing team to win. We got a bunch of achievements, and so the next time you go in, you also want to keep in mind that you want to try to get these reputations. So you can see that you just need to play a bunch of rounds, first of all, but the second thing is you need to well, win, and then you have these um, synergies that you can get. Now you can get a bunch of these charms and other goodies, but you see this? This is what you want to plan on when you're going in. Now another thing is when you jump in and you, you're starting off and you're not getting the units you really like, if it's early on in round one, just surrender and jump back in so that you can uh, kind of refresh, reset the units that you're starting with. Sometimes you start with some pretty bad three stars or three stars that you don't really want. So keep that in mind. They actually added New Moon Luna here and Fallen Cecilia. That's kind of cool. Minigal Lilius. And then each of the five stars tends to have one of their, like, uh, represents their synergies, right? So anyway, with that being said, though, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you want to see more of this type of content, let me know. I'm down for doing more of this as the event uh, continues throughout the next couple of weeks. But until next time, take care.